Hi beautiful souls, welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel, it's Cade, and today I am back with another pick a card reading, and um, I feel like I just haven't done a how are they feeling about you in quite a while, so I just kind of wanted to do a pick a card reading and do a little check-in with kind of you and your person, how is your person feeling about you, kind of what's going on in the connection, because I don't know guys, when I do love readings, I just get so excited. I don't know, because love is just such a magical, blissful thing, and I don't know, I just get really, really excited. So today we're going to be doing a how are they feeling about you, how are they truly feeling about you, just kind of tuning into their heart space. Um, I am going to see what's going on in the connection as usual, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So. Um, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to Samantha who donated this Healing Light Tarot. Look how gorgeous this deck is. Such a like high vibrational type of deck. So I'm really, really excited to use this um, deck today in the reading. Um, and before we get started as well, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's going to be linked down below. It's at Cade Conrad. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell. Also, guys, make sure to check out my Amazon wish list. That's going to be linked down below as well. And I also have my spiritual shop linked down below. And I also want to give a thank you to everyone who has bought or purchased an item from my spiritual shop. We are nearly at 6,000 sales. And I'm just really, really excited about that too. And that I'm able to distribute items that can help you guys on your healing journey. So I'm really, really excited. If you are new here, how I like to do my readings is for each pile, I like to tune in with my intuition. So spirit communicates to me through signs, symbols, visions, feelings, and words. And then it's just my job to interpret all of that and bring through the clear and accurate message to you guys. Okay, so go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person. Okay, really just kind of visualize them, ground your energy, and just... Ask spirit to guide you to the pile that is most going to resonate with you and your connection. So let's see. We have for pile one, guys, we're going to be doing the healing light tarot. So this is going to be pile one. See if that resonates with you. Pile number two is going to be the oceanic tarot. So this is going to be pile two. Pile number three is going to be the crystal visions tarot. So this is going to be pile three, crystal visions, and pile four is going to be the Morgan Greer tarot. So this is going to be pile number four. If it will focus, that is pile four. Okay, so take a moment, guys. Tune into your person. If I can hold all of these decks up. Okay, hold on. Give me a moment here. Okay, take a moment. Tune into your person. Pause the video if you need more time and just kind of do whatever you need to do to pick your pile intuitively. And then once you pick your pile, you can just go down in the description box below and all the timestamps will be there. And guys, I'll also try to remember to pin them in the comment section because I know some people like to find the timestamps there. So I'm going to try my best to remember to pin them in the comments as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one and I will see the rest of you beautiful souls at your pile. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number one are the Healing Light Tarot. This beautiful high vibrational deck. Okay, if you chose this deck right here, welcome in. This is your reading on how is your person feeling about you or, you know, how is your person truly feeling about you? Okay, so let's take a moment here to tune into your connection. I first kind of want to see what's going on with your connection, what's kind of happening with your person, and then we'll kind of move into feelings and tune into their heart space as well. So... I'm immediately getting the vision of someone on a boat, okay? I'm hearing this is a sinking ship, okay? I'm hearing Titanic specifically, so I don't know if there's a reference that you guys have with Titanic, but I feel like this is, I'm hearing this connection is falling apart faster than you can put it back together, okay? I feel like at one point you were happy with this person, or at one point, like, you were vibing is what I'm hearing, because... 
it almost I'm kind of getting the vision of this boat and it's sailing and then it's slowly kind of sinking but it like it wasn't sinking at one point and now it's kind of slowly going underwater until you kind of can't see it anymore I almost kind of feel like you feel as if this person or this connection is kind of disappearing into thin air okay to kind of clarify this energy guys we do have the five of Pentacles so you your person could have ghosted you um you guys might not be in communication right now or maybe it's just hard to see this connection through okay with the boat visualization maybe there is a physical distance but i'm hearing the party is over the party is over so there is a significance to an ending in this connection or an ending coming up in this connection I do feel like this person, for some of you, betrayed you. I do feel like they broke trust with you, okay? I am seeing some third-party energy, okay, coming up. Yeah. Um, or are you receiving some sort of news, okay? I feel like you're going to be receiving some sort of news about this person, okay? That may kind of cause this connection to break. Um, but something is going to unfold, is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, with the dogs barking, this tells me, I don't, I don't know, I'm taking this as a sign, but like, I feel like there's interruption in your connection. There is definitely a third party, or there is some sort of interruption in your connection. What is this spirit? I feel like you guys are trying so hard with this person, but I do see like a drift happening with your person. I do see them kind of drifting away, okay? Um, I am getting the vision of the hangman. So your person is a little indecisive right now, and I feel like they're not sure if they want to move things forward. Maybe you're wanting to move things forward a lot faster than this person wants to. And so this person right now is being a little bit unattentive to the connection and maybe a little bit unattentive to you. I feel like you guys sped things up very quickly. I feel like you immediately had an attraction to this person. I feel like you immediately thought that this could possibly be the one. And I do feel like you scared them away a little bit. Like I feel like they were fine with flirting with you, but when it kind of gotten to where you were building chemistry with this person, I feel like they kind of denied the connection with you, okay? I do see your person kind of maybe flirting with other people, trying to kind of see other options, okay? Because I don't think they were ready for the commitment that you were willing to offer them, okay? I do see a lot of passion, a lot of attraction, a lot of flirting, but not a lot of kind of heart space energy because I do feel like this connection scared this person a little bit. I feel like they felt a very strong magnetic attraction to you, and I think they ran from it because of that. I do feel like they ghosted you or something, or there was a sudden change in energy. So what that I feel like means is you were talking to this person, then they kind of just went silent on you, or kind of ghost mode, and I am getting a lot of like, um, I do feel like this person is gonna want you back. I do feel like there are going to be repercussions of this person's actions because I feel like they fled the scene. I feel like they ghosted you and I do feel like it's going to come back to haunt them. Okay. I do feel like they're going to want you back, but I feel like they may have messed things up with you a little bit because I do feel like you were very, very hurt by this person. Um, I'm hearing they made your heart stop. They made your heart stop. So I do feel like this person kind of broke your heart in some way, shape, or form, or in some capacity, okay? Hermit here. Um, they are in contemplation, guys, okay? I do feel like they have other options right now, and I do feel like they're kind of in contemplation of kind of whether they want to come back to you or not, but I do feel like this person treated you unfairly. I do feel like you kind of gave more into this connection than they were willing to offer because... I'm seeing this person kind of back away from you. Um, and what this means, I feel like you offered them something. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands in the reverse. So you offered this person a solid connection. You offered this person a commitment and they were just totally not ready for that. Okay, um, I don't feel like they were being completely honest with you uh, um, about kind of what they were doing, okay? Um, 
I don't feel like they were single for some of you at the time you met them because I am seeing there were a lot of lies told to you. And I'm hearing you're gonna be debunking these lies. So you're gonna be figuring out about kind of everything that's been going on behind the scenes with this person. Because I do feel like they've been acting a little weird or acting a little strange kind of being distant and I feel like this is for some of you there are people that they're kind of juggling on the side because I am hearing like a side hustle so this could be career but I am feeling for a lot of you that this could be a third party energy um you guys did trigger a lot of healing within this person. I feel like you did trigger like an awakening type of energy. I don't think they were ready for the intensity that you were willing to offer. Um, I am hearing bedside, bedside. So this person is far more sexual than emotional right now. I don't think they were ready to kind of dive into like a commitment okay and i do want to tell you guys if you've been a little confused about why this person kind of suddenly kind of broke something with you i'm hearing broke up so i don't know if you were together but i am kind of feeling this split in energy and i think you're very confused okay um and this person was also intimidated by you as well i feel like you offered a lot of honesty to this person and i don't think this person is in that same vibration. I feel like you're a very honest person. You're very honest about your emotions kind of right away. And this person, yeah, look, Ace of Cups. You're kind of like the type of person to kind of wear your heart on your sleeve. And I do think this person got a little scared of that intensity, okay? Um, there is a flame here. There's a flame is what I'm hearing, okay? Your person could be a fire sign with this temperance card. They could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, but there is this kind of sudden spark energy, okay? When you first saw them, there was instant passion. There was instant attraction. But I feel like when it came to developing something much more than what you already had, there was this feeling that the ship was sinking. It's like it was good until a certain point, okay? And um, for some of you, this does feel a little bit... Um, like kind of karmic, okay, with this 10 of swords in the reverse, it does kind of feel like there could be an ending coming up with this person. I do kind of feel like you could be meeting other people because your person feels very immature, okay? There is a very immature energy. I'm almost getting this person loves the nightlife. They love to go out. They love their freedom. They love to party. And they don't, I'm hearing they don't like to show people when they're upset or when they're angry. So they're also very straight faced is what I'm hearing. They don't like to be vulnerable around other people. They don't like to give up that heart space energy. So I don't know how well you really knew this person emotionally. Um, as far as that goes is what I'm hearing. I feel like you saw a surface level part of this person. I feel like you guys were able to read into this person, but um, you know, you can only get to know someone as much as they know themselves. And I feel like your person is a little bit immature. I feel like there's a little more healing that this person has to do. I don't think they were ready for your level of commitment. And this person does come up as being flirty, playful, and kind of loving the nightlife, okay, or the party life. They could be a musician as well. Like, um, I'm almost getting like a lot of music type of energy. Okay, you deserve love. This person is not giving the same capacity of love that you're giving. It's not that they don't know what love is, it's just they, they don't give it the same way. They're more of a passionate kind of sexual lover where I feel like you're more of a deep kind of hold my hand, protect me, trust me. Not that I'm hearing you could care less about sex, not that you don't want sex, but like I don't feel like this person really saw you for what you were bringing to the table. I think this connection kind of failed a little bit because you you guys are kind of, I'm hearing on opposite ends of like um, this kind of spectrum of love where they're on this kind of more immature, passionate level. You're on this higher level of learning is what I'm hearing. You guys are definitely ascended souls, okay? Um, and I do kind of feel like there could be a conclusion in terms of this connection. And I feel like a lot of you kind of knew this I do see other people showing up for you, okay? I do see other people showing up for you. 
I'm hearing they never gave you credibility. It's like, I feel like you did a lot for this person. You did a lot for this connection, but they never saw you. They never saw you for what you were offering. But guys, this person can only see you as much as they see themselves. Okay. They can't see something within you that they can't find within themselves kind of energy. I feel like this person is just not awakened. So it's not that you're not offering this person love. They just can't see it and that and it's a hard concept to grasp, but some people just can't see it guys. They can't see the truth like you do. They can't be honest like you are. Okay. Um, I do feel like this person look, pay attention to red flags. I, I do feel like there were some red flags at the beginning, beginning of the connection. I feel like you gave this person the benefit of the doubt. I feel like you really like this person. Um, but they just weren't the person you were looking for. I don't think they offered you everything you ever dreamed of. I'm hearing you're a Cinderella princess. Like, bitch, you need someone to put your shoe on. Okay, period. And this person wasn't doing that. And it's like this new love. You've got new love. You've got new options. Guys, there's somebody coming in that's going to be on that same level as you. And I know sometimes that's, you know, hard because when we're only focused on one person or one outcome, it's hard to kind of shift our perception. But I do feel like you guys need to maybe, yeah, this connection's very imbalanced. You're definitely giving a lot more and there's a lot of nightlife energy. Your person could drink a lot or there's this energy of, I don't want to give up my freedom. So I'm only going to give this much. Like they don't give a whole lot. They give like kind of breadcrumbs. Okay. And I'm hearing they always kept you waiting. So there was a lot of false kind of promises here that they did look justice in the reverse, just unfair energy. Just you're giving more and they're not willing to give, you know, enough. Now I do see this person coming back maybe for some of you like, I feel like their ego is going to bring them back to you. So for some of you, the minute you get with someone else, this person's going to like come in on their high horse, but I think you're going to be finished with them by then. Okay. It's like this person's allowed to be with other people, but it's like the minute you get with someone else, they like can't stand it. Okay. So I feel like this general energy of this person kind of always leaving you I'm hearing on red or just kind of not fulfilled emotionally. It's like they didn't fill your cup up and it's like you're, you were being depleted. It's like eight of swords. This connection with, was just kind of stuck. Now spirit is wanting me to mention, does this person have the ability of, to change? Of course, we all have that ability within ourselves to awaken to our highest potential. Your person is stuck right now. They're stuck. They're comfortable right now. Okay, spirit. So let me kind of see what else is coming up. I do want to kind of tune into this newer energy and love and see what's going on. Guys, your person don't get too offended by the things they do. Okay. I don't feel like they're very like a super malicious mean person. I just think they're at a different, they're vibrating at a different level. That, that's all it is, is what I feel like. So like, Try not to take this person very personal. Try not to take the things they do very personal because I am seeing a lot of like post on social media to try to get under your skin or something like that. Or they try to get under your skin and kind of, I'm hearing they're going to make you want them back or something. Like they try to post stuff on social media to kind of reel you back in. But the minute they reel you back in, they like don't put any effort in at all. Like it just feels like, there's just not stability in this connection. I feel like a lack of consistency with your person. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They were never willing to build something. Okay. This, the ship sunk before you ever set sail that, you know, it's that energy. So, um, let's see. Yeah. Tower. I do feel an ending here. Okay. We do have the tower that kind of clarifies the sinking ship type of thing. I feel like you tried to keep as much hope and optimism for this person as long as possible, but I just feel like in the end, it just didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Okay. So what else do you need to know? Is there any advice for pile one? I do feel like this is a little disappointing because it, it's like, I, 
it's like this person could be a better person and they're like choosing not to be. You know what I mean? It's like kind of sucks because everyone has that capacity to love harder. Everyone has that capacity to open up to healing. And I don't think your person is like ready for that at all. Okay. Um, I am hearing they can be a bit manipulative, but again, I, I feel like this is just because they're not healed. It doesn't feel like they're doing it on purpose. It just feels like one of those things is just like they're at a different level than you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I do feel like your person could make an offer. It's not going to be what you're looking for. I think you're looking for this person to be honest in terms of their heart space. Um, and it feels more passionate. They feel more in and out, hot and cold. Um, so let me tune in to how they feel about you. That's what the whole reading's about. <laughs> but let's see, how do they feel about you? They, they, they do see you guys as like, I'm hearing like my one and only. Like they want you, but they don't want the responsibility of like the whole emotional thing. They like to talk to you, they like to have you there, but they're definitely not looking for something solid, okay? The hermit in the reverse, they're just emotionally detached, okay? So tuning into feelings, it's more of like, well, you know, I have passion for you. That's kind of how they operate, I feel like. You have this ace of wands, so there is like a lot of passion here. There could be a very passionate offer. Um, but it feels like beyond that, that they just might not be able to kind of expand to loving you at the capacity that you're ready to love them. Okay, so how do they feel about you? It's like as soon as they come in, they leave. I'm hearing as soon as they pack their bags and come towards you, they leave. Okay, they leave. Okay, it's like, it's like you can't get it up off the ground because this person is not willing to put in any energy or any effort, you know? That's what it feels like. The hangman, they're just, it's, this is kind of stuck. And so I feel like what spirit is saying right now is to, you know, you can stay in touch with this person or whatever, but, you know, try other options because right now this person doesn't feel ready, okay? And that's kind of what I'm feeling here, pile one. So... Let me know down in the comments if that resonated with you. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Um, make sure to check out my spiritual shop down below. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Amazon wish list. And I'm going to go to move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number two or the Oceanic Tarot. Welcome in guys. This is your reading on how is your person feeling about you? Okay, so you guys know me I'm gonna tune into what's going on and then we'll tune into feelings and kind of heart space energy But I always love to kind of get that general energy of the connection. So Spirit, please tune me into pile two Okay, I see the vision of a checklist, okay? You guys could be looking for new love, but I see the vision of a checklist, and it's like, this is what you want. This is what I'm seeing. Spirit is showing me this is what you're looking for, and it's almost like you're trying to search or find that, okay? Now, I do feel like you have a few people in mind is what I'm hearing, but I don't feel like there's one specific person showing up right now in your love life. Um, I'm hearing I'm still searching, like I'm still searching, okay? I'm hearing you're searching for your Ace of Cups, okay? So you're searching for that love offer. You're searching for that commitment, okay? And I'm hearing I've been reaching dead ends, okay? I am seeing the vision of the hangman. So it's like, I feel coming up in your energy, there's a lot of um, spaciness is what I'm hearing in terms of love. A lot of people kind of keeping their distance from you. I feel like you kind of, infiltrate in their space, you start to open up your heart and this scares people a little bit because I do feel like you're very emotional, vulnerable. You share a lot with people, which I absolutely love. And um, I'm hearing I haven't had any luck. So I do think a lot of people are scared of your intensity. Now, tuning into your energy pile too, I don't feel anyone in particular, but we'll just see what happens, okay? We're just gonna trust spirit here. So what's going on here in the connection? 
I'm hearing boom, boom. There's a recent breakup here or a recent ending, okay? Someone very deceptive is coming up in your past and I'm hearing I haven't been the same since. So love has been a little bit hard lately for you. I feel like they're, um, your friends are trying to help you a little bit, maybe saying, you know, go out with this person, go out with that person. But I do feel like there's a lot of healing um, that is taking place from your past, okay? Um, I'm hearing dimples, dimples. So I don't know if you have dimples or you have somebody in mind who has dimples or something, but I'm hearing you have the cutest dimples, okay? I'm also hearing rock star, so your person could be into music, they could play the guitar, maybe you play the guitar. Um, there is a little bit timidness around getting involved with someone else, okay? I do feel like you've been heartbroken in the past, um, and there is this fear of neglect is what I'm hearing spirits say, okay? Look, past life relationship. So when this card shows up, this usually talks about an ex, kind of working through some ancestral patterns, working through maybe some old patterns you used to have in your love life. I do feel like there's this fear of, I don't want to get hurt again, but you're also ready to start dating again. Okay. Which is why you're here because I do feel like you have someone in mind, but you're not sure. Okay. You're not sure. So spirit, just tune me into whatever person kind of comes up for them. What's going on here. I am hearing November. Okay. So there's somebody new coming up in your love life in November. If not, your person has a birthday in November, there is significance around November, okay? Um, don't fear I'm here is what I'm hearing. You have somebody showing up in your love life. I'm hearing it's been a long time coming, okay? Six of Cups in the reverse shows me there is still some reflection on your past, okay? Um, I'm insecure, don't know what for. So. I feel like you're a little bit insecure. Maybe this person coming up in your past, you have a lot of energy around neglect, maybe not feeling good enough in your own skin. Okay, I'm hearing they always made me feel this way. So this kind of does feel like a little bit of a toxic ex coming up with the King of Wands in the reverse. This can talk about kind of a mean, sharp type of energy. Okay, I'm hearing they were always so mean, okay? I'm hearing dim your light. You guys are facing a problem where you kind of dim your light to kind of fit in. You're scared to show up 100% in terms of relationships. I feel like this has a lot to do with like past relationships where they made you feel not worthy about yourself. So there is this fear of showing up in terms of love. Okay, scared to get back out there, scared to start dating again. Um, I do feel like there also could be some body image issues that you're working through. Scared to kind of show yourself sexually as well as coming up here. I'm hearing post on Instagram. Maybe you guys haven't posted on Instagram in a while because you just haven't been feeling good in your own skin lately. It does feel like you guys are getting over this person from your past, but I feel like it's been a lot of heavy energy and just a lot to deal with. Um, I do feel like this could have been an abusive relationship. If not, I feel like this person just made you feel incredibly lonely is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Yeah. Strength in the reverse. So I'm hearing endings bring new beginnings. So there is a recent ending in your past, which is going to kind of bring up some new beginnings. I do feel like there's still some healing that you need to do in terms of your love life. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm, I don't want it to happen again. I don't want it to happen again. So you have retreated your energy in terms of love. Um, I feel like you are a little bit spacey. Like you don't get too close to people because you kind of fear neglect is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing an ocean. You guys are lost at sea in terms of love. I feel like you're very caught up in some emotions that are coming up from your past and I feel like you're trying to deal with them once and for all is what I'm hearing. And what I've noticed too is all of these are coming out in the reverse. So there is a stuck energy in terms of love. With healing family issues, there is healing that needs to be done, okay, as well, okay? I keep hearing neglect, okay? I'm getting a lot of orphan type of energy. So this person 
I'm hearing the song Getaway Car. I'm feeling for some of you, this person picked their shit up and they left. And you're still working through that because I feel like you don't want to love someone again or you don't want to be with someone again because you don't want the same thing to happen, okay? I am hearing victory, okay? Victory. I'm hearing victory. I'm seeing a V. So this new person's name could start with a V. Victor, something like that is coming up. But I also just feel like it means keep pushing through. You're going to come out on top in terms of your love life, okay? You are going to end up thriving in your love life. Although you might not have your person right now, I do feel that coming up very soon for you. Um, there's a lot of fear around love because I feel like also this person coming up in your past broke a lot of promises. They could have cheated on you or something, or they made a promise and they didn't fulfill that promise. Okay. I'm hearing they treated your heart like it was nothing. So they just like kind of tossed you around like you were nothing but an object for some of you. Um, and there is a fear that that's going to happen again. Okay. I am hearing something about money moves. So some of you are also very career driven right now, or you could meet someone, um, in your career, okay? Soulmate in the reverse. You guys are just struggling right now in love, okay? That's not a bad thing. Um, I feel like you are looking for your 10 of cups. You have the wedding card on the bottom of the deck. Um, but there is a fear of commitment here. I do have to be real with you. And I think this has to do with um, someone from your past because with heart to heart in the reverse, there is a little bit of a block in terms of your heart chakra. There is a little bit of a problem with you being honest about how you feel about people because you don't want to fully show up as yourself because the last time you did it, you got hurt, which makes complete sense. Okay. I just keep hearing fear of neglect, fear of neglect. So how is your person feeling? I don't even know if you have a person in mind, but let's do it. How is your person feeling? I'm hearing like you're a million bucks. Guys, I feel like you have a lot of options in terms of love. I feel like you do have people that are coming into your love life, but they're telling me you don't feel that way. So, you know, for me to sit here and just and say how all of these people feel about you, Spirit is telling me that's not going to help you on your journey right now. So I have to acknowledge what's going to help you the most right now. Um, and that's tapping in, I'm hearing, into your feminine energy, starting to feel good in your own skin again, starting to feel good with your sexuality, guys. The hermit in the reverse, very detached right now from heart chakra. And I do feel like there's trust issues here, okay? Um, I'm hearing a temporary pause in love. It does feel like you're putting the brakes on love for a little bit, okay? Um, I Yeah. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying finances and career. I do see more of a focus in terms of money or just working on yourself, and I feel like that feels good for you because it's like no matter how much I sit here and tell you, you know, this guy likes you or this girl likes you, it's like you do have to feel it within your own skin, and I think you guys are just working towards that, okay? Um, I do feel like you have a lot of people that are going to come into your life. They're going to want to flirt with you, but I do feel this energy of it's more about when are you ready to open up? You know what I mean? When are you ready to open up? I'm also hearing something about a Birkin bag. So I don't know what that means, but maybe you're going to manifest someone who, you know, has money or maybe you're just trying to gain your own wealth. Okay. You also have the star in the reverse. So there is a lack of optimism in terms of love. There is kind of a more pessimistic outlook. There is a little bit of drama in terms of your love life. Conflict coming up. I do feel, I'm hearing patching up the holes. Patching up the holes. So what this means is there's still some healing that needs to be done, okay? You're a little lost in terms of love and I do feel like, yeah, the moon. There is some kind of cloudiness, some darkness around love, okay? I think you have a lot of people that think you're freaking awesome, and I think you have a lot of people that think you're adorable, but um, I feel like you feel like maybe you're not quite ready for that yet, okay? Um, I feel like you're tempted to go out with people, but for some reason you've held yourself back. I feel like you go back and forth. You're like, I'll go out, but then no, I won't. Or no, I'll flirt with this person and then kind of, no, I won't. Okay, so let me kind of see what else is coming up for you. Pile two. 
I'm hearing I go back to December. There's something significant that happened in the month of December, okay? I'm hearing that's when they left me. Some of you, this person left around Christmas time or something like that. Um, and I do still feel like you're working through that, okay? So take your time, guys. Be patient with yourself. I'm hearing I'm not an object. I'm not an object. So there is also some healing that needs to be done in terms of body image is what I'm picking up on. So what's going on? Check in with yourselves, guys. I am getting a lot of maybe health issues going on for you. Maybe you need to get your rest. Five of Cups. Sadness. Okay, disappointment. Somebody disappointed you. They left unannounced is what I'm hearing. So anything else? Anything that can kind of benefit this pile spirit? There is going to be a turn of events, guys. There is going to be a turn of events. Your love life is going to be looking up in the future. Keep going. Okay, I do see some progression happening for you in the month of November or December. Okay, keep an open mind. Okay, what did I say? There is going to be a turn of events in your love life. I think you are going to meet some people that kind of blow your mind. Okay, um, right now you are very kind of held back from love, but try to keep an open mind for new possibilities. Try to stay hopeful because, you know, that's all we can do. Now, for some of you, this person that is coming up in your past may try to reconcile. You're going to deny the reconciliation. I don't feel like you're going to let them back in your life. Um, but there is this feeling of, you know, give other people a chance, okay? I do feel like the overall general energy for Pile 2 is keep an open mind, okay, in terms of your love life, because I do see a little lack of hope here, okay? So, let's see if there's anything else I can get for you guys. Is there any advice for Pile 2? I'm hearing something about gnomes, something about gnomes. I don't know if you have gnomes in your yard or something. I don't know why that's coming through. Guys, there's going to be somebody that comes up in your energy and they're going to gift you a lot of things. I'm hearing they're going to gift you a lot of weird knickknacks. Um, be open-minded to this new person, okay? There is a new person coming up in your love life. They are a little bit um, more kind of not as serious, okay? I feel like they're a very playful type of person, but in a good way, I think they're gonna make you laugh a lot. Um, and they're just saying to be open to that, okay? Be open to kind of these new offers of love because with the Four of Pentacles, there is kind of more of a shut off kind of energy, okay? So keep healing, keep going forward. I do see your love life looking up in the near future. I didn't really get a specific energy, so I'm just gonna acknowledge my intuition. I wasn't tuning into anyone specific. So stay strong, Pile 2. Keep going. I do see some people that are going to shock you coming up here in the near future. Um, I do see your love life kind of opening up for you, but I do feel like I'm hearing you have a lot of battle wounds, okay? You are working through a lot of past hurt, okay? And that's okay. So stay strong, Pile 2. I love you so much. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out my Amazon wish list. Check out my spiritual shop. And I'm going to go to move on to pile number three. Hi, beautiful souls. That's just pile three or the Crystal Visions Tarot. Welcome in, beautiful souls. Um, this is your reading on how are they feeling about you, okay? We're going to be tuning into the connection, picking up on all the energies that are coming through, and then we'll tune into their heart space, okay? So... Let's kind of see what's going on here, spirit. Pile three's connection. Okay, so I am hearing November, December. So there is something significant that is going to happen between the two of you in the near future. Okay, I do see November, December coming up. I do feel like this relationship is growing. I do feel like commitment is coming up for the two of you, okay? I do see a blending coming up, okay? They are giving me the vision of the two of cups. So if you're not already in a relationship, this is going to be happening for you. Some of you, it's going to be happening in the month of November. Now, I do feel like some of you are at a physical distance and you're finally going to be meeting up pretty soon, okay? It feels like there's something very exciting coming up in terms of this connection, like 
oh, we finally get to be together. Or, or yes, it's finally happening. Some of you are like having sex for the first time, okay, with this person or something like that. Um, but there's something like brand new, okay? I'm hearing you make me feel, I'm hearing that song. Um, you make me feel like a virgin. Okay, so what I'm getting for this is you literally could be having sex for the first time with your person. This could be like a brand new connection. Maybe this is somebody new that you just started flirting with. Maybe you're just getting to know each other and so it feels good, you know, because when you're talking to someone that always feels great when someone's giving you attention or something like that. Um, but it feels like there's reciprocation here. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Like it feels like um, I'm hearing an upward spiral where it's like usually your love life is like a wreck, a storm, a tornado. It's like it feels like for the first time, it's like finally, you know, Cade says something positive about my love life. That's what I'm kind of feeling here and I'm kind of loving it. Now, some of you are gonna be exchanging hoodies is what I'm hearing or you have this person's clothing because I'm seeing you smelling something. This person's gonna be giving you their hoodie or something like that or some some piece of clothing okay you guys will know what i mean um wow engagement i freaking love it okay period let's read this your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i feel good about this okay we also have expressed your love so what this could also mean is if you guys haven't gotten to that level yet where you're expressing all of your feelings and emotions, that's also showing up as well, okay? Um, some of you are going to the beach together or you're going to go swimming with this person, okay? Um, yeah, I feel it, okay? I see two people dipping their toes in a pool, so... I don't know what's going on, but I feel like you guys are going to do something excited. You're going to go on a trip together or something like that. Or they just tell me, Spirit's just telling me there's something monumental coming up. Something very positive. Something very... They're using the word stable. So what this tells me is if you're in the flirting stage, you're going to kind of be moving to a higher level of commitment. Okay? Um, let's see what else is going on here for you. Some of you speak another language than this person is what I'm hearing because they're telling me something about terminology. So maybe you're learning a new language for this person, but I am feeling a little bit of a language barrier, but um, that's going to work itself out because I don't feel like that's going to be a problem. So whoever needed to hear that, okay, whoever needed to hear that, but I do just pick up this energy of like coming together. Okay, you do have the King of Pentacles, which would represent stability or growth within the connection. Okay. Your person is like staring at you. They're like, I keep seeing them just stare. Okay. They love your eyes. Okay. I'm hearing like a friendship as well. So it feels like, um, I love this. Okay, hold on. I feel a couple things are coming through. Okay, I do feel like there's more than just romance. There's like a friendship. There's a bond here. Now, for some of you, it's like you can't get to this person or something. It's like, I feel like if you do live at a physical distance, it's just like you want more and you can't get more right now. Okay, for some of you. Okay, um, it feels like you kind of are having to turn away from each other right now, but it does feel like there is going to be this kind of coming together, okay? But I'm hearing like it can't happen soon enough, okay? You guys are always thinking about each other, or you're always worried about each other, like wondering what are you up to or what are you doing? But it's like, I feel like you can't ever be with this person in the way you want to be with them. It feels like there's two energies coming up. Some of you are like meeting up with this person and you're finally going to be able to come together. But some of you that are watching, it can't happen fast enough. And it's like with separation, this could be you live in different parts of the world or something like that. But there is strong love here. Some of you are coming together and it's like others of you aren't because I do feel two separate energies that spirit is wanting me to address because some of you would love to come together with this person and be able to be with this person and hold this person and love this person. But I don't see that for some of you. I see that for a few of you, but not for all of you. Okay. Cause this is a general reading. 
Um, I'm hearing open up to the possibilities, okay? So try to be optimistic in terms of like this connection and like if you do live at a distance, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't ever be with this person, okay? Trust. There is this feeling that you need to trust that if it's meant to be, this person will be in your life, okay? I also have to address some of you have different religions than this person and that could also be getting in the way. Okay, I'm hearing I'm in love with the shape of you. So this person absolutely loves your body. Okay, I'm getting the vision of some of them grabbing your butt. So I don't know if they have an obsession with your butt or they just really want to touch you and feel you. They want to be with you guys. There's a lot of sexual energy. So that's why I'm feeling so strongly that you could be at a distance because it just feels like I want to touch you because my emotions are so strong for you, but it's like, I want to express them, you know, through my body. You know what I'm saying? Um, it does feel like some of you have just had to kind of form this online. Okay. And, um, maybe the coronavirus has something to do with you kind of being separated, but I do feel your bond strengthening. Okay. So don't get discouraged if you can't meet up in person, because regardless, I do see the energy between the two of you kind of growing. Okay. With chemistry on the bottom of the deck, I do see you guys forming more chemistry. Okay. Getting to know each other better. So how does this person feel about pile two? I mean, not pile two. What am I saying? How does this person feel about pile three? You're all I ever need. Oh my God, I love it. Guys, this person is so in love with you. They are, they just are, okay? And I feel like it's circumstantial. Like you can't be together because of circumstances. And that just fucking sucks, okay? Let's just say it, that fucking sucks. But guys, you do light this person up. You do light this person up, okay? Guys, 10 of Pentacles. This is like marriage, like legacy. Like you do wanna build something with this person, but there does feel like just it keeps coming up this kind of physical detachment. So emotionally, you're kind of bonding, Physically, you can't do that so much. And, you know, that is a part of being with someone. And I feel like you haven't got to experience that with this person for some of you. Okay, let's see what else. How does this person feel about you? Angel. I'm hearing angel. Some of you, this person's name is angel, but they see you as being very angelic. I'm hearing you're so hot. Like they love your body, first of all, but I feel like it's so much more than that, okay? I'm hearing I haven't expressed everything to you. I haven't expressed everything to you. There's more coming from this situation, it feels like. There's like a coming together. It's like soulmate on the bottom of the deck. I feel like it's going beyond just attraction. It's going beyond just flirting. It just feels like so much more than that, okay? Especially with the Ten of Pentacles, like, I feel like this card is just a, like legacy, like doing something together with this person, okay? This card immediately, my intuition said some of you will be having children with this person, okay? Um, or they want to have children with you, but they want to build something with you, okay? Um, I know this is a little bit weird and some of you might think it's weird, but it's like some of you, they want to like trap you in the connection too, because they don't want you to leave them. So it's like, they feel like if they have children with you, I, this is creepy, but it's like sweet, I guess. I don't know. Take it how you want, but it's like, they want to have children with you. So they'll kind of forever be interconnected with you. Like this person never wants you to like let go of them. Okay. They want to like hold on to you forever. I'm hearing teddy bear. Some of you, this person gifted you a teddy bear or something like that. November. I keep hearing November. Guys, this person feels like they can let their guard down with you. Okay. It's something so brand new, something they've never felt before, something that makes them excited about life. Like they can just let down their guard with you, be themselves with you. They're, they want to have adventures with you. They want to experience things with you. They feel so much more than just physical with you. It's like they want to do everything with you. You know what I mean? How does this person feel about pile three? Guys, we have to acknowledge this, okay? Because 
10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, guys. And all I mean by this is just the cards are clarifying everything my intuition already said. And it's beautiful to see the 10 of cups beside the 10 of pentacles because this shows emotional commitment along with you know, a physical bond and marriage and building something and moving in together and having children. But it also also shows them nurturing you. Some of you, this person has a lisp, okay? Some of you, this person is also on a cusp, okay, of some sort. Um, like their zodiac sign is on a cusp. Um, they want to start a new life with you, but it can't happen fast enough with this hangman. Um, you're stuck right now. Maybe the connection is stuck or you just can't be the way you want to be with this person or they can't express themselves the way they want to express themselves to you. Um, I just feel like don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave me. Four of Swords in the reverse. This person thinks about you. They're up at night thinking about you, dreaming of you. What I'm getting though with this dreaming energy, it feels so hard to get to you. Some of you, there is a serious physical distance here with the chariot showing up. We also have the Nine of Wands, so it's hard right now because I don't think you can come together in the way you want to. I, I don't think so. I, I'm getting that for most of you. Or maybe that's past. Okay, take what resonates. Take what resonates. Um, I'm hearing you build me up when I feel low. Like, look at this Empress energy. There are children here for some of you, so if you don't want children, be careful, okay? Um... I feel like you're gonna build a life with this person or I feel like I'm in their headspace and they're very dreamy about you. Um, there's a lot of I want, I want, I want right now. I want you right now. I want this right now. I wanna be with you right now. Um, it does, Spirit keeps saying circumstantial. So there are circumstances I feel like keeping you apart from this person, okay? This is fun to tune into. Like I'm absolutely freaking loving this, okay? Let me keep tuning in because I feel like there's more. Okay, um, I'm hearing, oh my gosh, I'm hearing the song Dress by Taylor Swift. Like I only bought this dress so you could take it off. So some of you um, are gonna be having sex with this person very soon. For some of you, I feel like you've never had sex with this person and that's showing up for you. How do they feel? You're my baby, I'm hearing, you're my baby. You're my baby. Like, I think they call you like baby, honey, look, make the effort. They're all over your energy, guys. They feel very obsessive, kind of all over your energy. I'm hearing a heartbreaker. Like guys, if you left this person or if something happened between the two of you, they would be so heartbroken by it, okay? Um, let's see what I'm getting here. Okay, you have worth waiting for. We have free yourself. Okay. You guys are trapped right now in your own life. You can't get to each other right now. That's what I feel. It's like you have to wait on each other. It's like that's what Spirit's telling me. You have to free yourself from... They have to free themselves from their own life right now. So maybe it is religion. Maybe it is their family. And it's like... But it just feels like they can't get to you. Okay. So any last feelings here for pile three? I'm hearing a donut, so I don't know if there's significance around donuts here. Let's see. Okay. They're getting very impatient. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Um, to be honest, what I'm feeling here is their old life has to die, okay? Um, whatever is going on right now between your lives, they feel separate. And it's like you have to leave your lives to come together and create a new life. Okay, the Eight of Cups here. So maybe your person has to walk away from their family or walk away from a current place of living or walk away from something to come to you. And so maybe that's why it's so hard right now. And you have the Hermit. So they are in contemplation a little bit on how am I going to get to you? How, are, how am I going to make sure you receive my love, you know, because one day you do want to be together. But there is this energy of, I'm hearing Pakistan. So I don't know if somebody lives there or your person does. I'm hearing, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. This person is so lonely without you. Wheel of fortune. But there is this feeling of destiny. Okay. Um, 
but right now it feels like they can't get to you and it does feel like for some of you like with the hero fit in the reverse they have to break tradition to be with you and maybe that's very hard for them right now okay so that's kind of what i'm getting pile three okay anything else for pile three i'm hearing mr and mrs okay or mr and mr and mrs and mrs but i do feel marriage here okay i do I don't know why this is coming through, but it's like you can't make it practical. It feels very 5D. It feels like there is an emotional connection, a spiritual connection, but you're not able to kind of create it here in the earthly plane, okay? Um, there's like not a lot of, there's not a whole lot of stability because your person has to leave something behind. Maybe they have to leave a marriage behind or something, but your person has to leave something behind. Okay. Um, I'm hearing the song cold as ice. Um, you guys are, you, I feel like you guys are very moody because you can't be with each other is what I'm getting. I feel like you're very cold right now because even maybe a little depressed, maybe a little sad sometimes just thinking about it. Because look, true love. I, I feel like there is this feeling of like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get to you. Okay, so let me know if that resonated, Pile 3. There is kind of this Romeo and Juliet type of energy. Like, we can't be together because of other things outside of us. Um, but I feel like, I mean, this is written in the stars, right? Okay, this is written in the stars. So... Keep the faith, guys. Keep your head up. This person does really like you. Even if it can't happen right now, I do feel like there are possibilities, okay, in the future. So let me know, Pile 3, if that resonated with you. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Okay, it's going to be linked down below. Check out my Amazon wish list. That's also going to be linked down below. Um, make sure to check out my spiritual shop and I'm going to go to move on to pile number four. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number four are the Morgan Greer Tarot. Welcome in guys. This is your reading on how are they feeling about you? So we are going to be tuning into the connection and then we'll tune into your person's heart space and just kind of see what's going on. Okay. So spirit, please tune me into pile four. What's going on here? Okay, there's a lot of signals going on. There's a lot of indirect signals. Like I see you guys are like indirectly speaking to each other. Um, I kind of am getting that vibe is like when you like someone and then you kind of post something on social media kind of directed towards them, but you don't like tell them. There's a lot of um, hidden type of feelings here. I think there's more expression that kind of is going to show up in this connection or needs to show up. I see a lot of indirect signals. You guys are kind of like missing each other right now. It's like you're kind of like flying right by each other. So I don't know how that resonates with you, but I do feel like you guys are kind of just, you're kind of missing each other right now. It's like, I feel like you need to be more honest with each other. Um, I do feel like there's like a lot of back and forth energy. Like you'll say something, they'll say something, or you'll post something on social media, they'll post something back. But I do feel like there needs to be more um, communication. Okay, I'm seeing the I'm seeing birds. So your person is a little bit flighty. I don't think your person's the best at communicating. Okay, with this playful energy, there is this strong energy of like there needs to be better communication. Um, maybe this is a very playful connection. Um, but I don't think your person would shy away from forming a bond with you, like a commitment. I don't think your person would shy away from that, but I don't know if they know you like them like that. Okay. There is this feeling of not sharing, not sharing is what I keep getting. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are maybe having sex, being very flirty with each other. And it kind of feels like one of those connections where it starts passionate but it kind of turns into something more. I feel like right now, emotionally, you're very separated. Emotionally, your person is in denial about the feelings they have for you, and maybe you are too. Um, I'm hearing rip it open, rip it open. There needs to be more sharing. You guys haven't revealed um, yourselves to this person, and I don't think they've revealed themselves to you either. 
Guys, this person doesn't know you like them for some of you. I don't know. This person doesn't think you like them or something. I, I don't know. They think it's just a friendship. Some of you, this person, and you are just um, friends or something like that. But I do feel like it could develop into more. Okay, um, your person's a little scared to share something with you. They're a little scared to share their feelings with you. Um, yeah, some of you, this person is very committed to their job, so they're not really focused right now on love. They're not really paying attention right now to love. I am seeing that, like they're very focused on another aspect of their life. Um, I don't feel like your person would shy away from love. I just don't Think, they think that you're not ready and you like think they're not ready. I don't know. It's like I feel like you both think about each other. You think about having feelings, but both of you are kind of tied back from sharing this with one another. I think there's this energy of you kind of holding yourself back from this person and they definitely, if it's not you, they definitely hold themselves back from you. Um, I think this person likes you a lot, but... They don't want to like jump in too quickly is what I'm hearing for some of you. Okay. Um, if anything, I feel like the separation card, it definitely could be a physical distance, but I'm not picking up on that energy strongly. Definitely feeling an emotional distance. Okay. Now this could be physical. I'm not saying it's not, but it does also feel like an emotional distance. I feel like if anything right now, there's more playful energy in this connection then there is um, emotional. Okay, yeah, you have the four of wands. So there's not like a commitment. There's not like a coming together or anything like that, okay? Um, so let's see what's going on here, Spirit. Anything else that kind of needs to be addressed? They are saying to speak up for yourself. So I think you need to share more with this person. And I think this person needs to share more with you. This could be a newer connection. And so you know, you don't want to jump in too quickly is what I'm kind of feeling. Let's see what else I'm getting in my vision. Warm. This person does make you feel warm. Okay. Inside is what I'm hearing, but you kind of keep yourself at a distance. I don't feel like you guys are sharing this with each other. I think you guys, um, are kind of disengaged with one another. I think you might've had sex. You might flirt, but there is like this feeling of like not sharing, like your person is not sharing how they feel about you. Um, and so that's why you kind of feel a little separated from this person because you're not sharing emotionally. And they're saying roots, like there's no roots in this connection. It's kind of more up in the air. It kind of feels like it could go both ways. That's kind of how you're feeling. Like, well, I guess I like this person, but I'm not really sure where it's going. Okay, I do see you guys forming feelings for this person. Okay, coming up in my vision, I see you getting feelings for this person and being maybe a little scared to get attached because you don't know if this person feels the same way. And so I guess that's why you're here. Okay, to figure out how this person is feeling about you. Five of Pentacles. You guys might not be in communication right now. Your person could have money trouble, so they're really focused on finances. But I don't think this person is aware that you want to talk to them. I don't know why that's coming through so strongly, but I think you guys need to come out of the dark a little bit, okay? Um, maybe this is one of those connections where this is your ex and you're wondering if you can rekindle it. Maybe this is just one of those connections where you're wondering if you should reach out and I feel like you should reach out, okay? Um, because I think you both want to reach out to each other. There is a change that wants to occur in this connection, but I don't think any of you are taking the necessary steps to make this happen. So let's see what their feelings are for you. I'm hearing you're my medicine. You're my medicine, okay? This person feels a sense of belonging with you, okay? I'm hearing I haven't found someone quite like you in a while. I don't think they're sharing this with you. Um, your person has been heartbroken in the past, okay? Recently, um, people have let your person down a lot. And so there is this fear from your person. They don't like want you to let them down. They don't want to pour their heart out to a stranger and then you kind of like deny their offer. You know what I mean? I think there's this fear of if I tell you how I feel, 
you're not gonna feel the same way, okay? Um, I am keep hearing denial, so your person is in denial a little bit about how they feel about you. Um, they're not courageous enough right now is what I'm hearing. There is a lot of fear. Um, this person does need to let their guard down a little bit. They do need to let their guard down a little bit um, in terms of love. I think they need to open up a little bit more in terms of love. I feel like your person could be um, in one of those moods where they're kind of very focused on career, very focused on their own personal life. And so they're kind of giving you a lot of that, I'm not ready for a relationship. But again, I don't feel like they would shy away from it if you offered them this, okay? What I'm seeing here currently is a lot of passion, um, maybe a lot of talking, okay? There's a lot of fire energy, sharing ideas with each other, but not heart space, okay? King of Cups in the reverse. They're not sharing in terms of heart, okay? And I do see your person being very committed to finances or very committed to career right now. So there is this energy of them kind of trying to balance their life, kind of juggle things with the seven of pentacles. I do feel like they're focused on personal growth, career, okay, stuff like that. So in terms of love, they are a little bit hidden right now in terms of their emotions. It feels like, I'm not seeing like love, okay? But what I can tell you is I'm seeing I like you. I'm seeing I could do this maybe with you. I'm seeing let's get to know each other a little bit better. I'm seeing like, well, let's talk, get to know each other and see if we work out, okay? With the Seven of Cups here, there could be other options around this person. There could be other options around you. And if not that, this is just saying you both are very up in your head. So it's kind of like this energy of get the ball rolling, start talking to each other, start vibing with each other, and just see where it goes, okay? So how is your person feeling about you? I'm hearing lights, camera, action. So your person could be in the film industry or something like that, or they're a photographer, and their work does keep coming up. I am seeing a lot of work. I'm also seeing... I'm hearing industrialization, so they could work at a factory or something, but I, su I do see a lot of consumption in terms of work. I'm hearing like you say like, I wanna reach out, but I'm just like nervous that you might not say the same thing, or like you might not like me, or that they might not respond or something. For some of you, this feels like your crush. I'm hearing the name Eve or Eva, so maybe your name is Eve or Eva or something like that. Um, I'm also getting the movie Wally, -E, so I don't know if there's also a connection to Wally -E or something like that. Maybe a Pixar movie or something. But how does your person feel about you? Let me see what else I get here. I'm hearing neighbors. Some of you are neighbors. Okay, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing construct, build. So your person could be a builder. But what I'm getting is there needs to be more... Um, energy exchange, like you're missing each other. There needs to be more collaboration because again, I keep saying like, I feel like if you tried with this person, I feel like they would like you, but I don't feel there's been like a start to this connection. It kind of just feels um, like you've just been holding your energy to yourself and not going towards this person. And your person feels the same way. Um, and a lot of this, in terms of you and your person, maybe just your person, excuse me, is about past heartbreak. Okay, so this could be why your person doesn't want to get involved because they don't want to get their heart broken. And that could be maybe some of your energy. I am seeing a lot of mirroring here. So you guys are kind of mirroring the same energy. You're kind of curious about this person. They're kind of curious about you and neither one of you is kind of making the effort or taking the first step. I'm hearing solitude. So some of you are in major hermit mode or maybe your person's in major hermit mode. Um, but what am I feeling? Okay. It's almost this energy of, I feel this. Okay, let me be real. Let me clarify this real quick. Okay. 
it feels like kind of two things are coming up here. It's like if you want something to happen with this person, if you want something to kind of transform with this person, I think you could make it happen. But I do feel like there's a lack of communication here. I feel like you both are kind of walking away from each other right now. And I don't feel like both of you are actively putting in a lot of energy. Maybe because you have other options. Maybe they have other options. With the Emperor here, I do feel like they're very focused on work. Or just focused on other things. And like, um, it's like make yourself known is what I'm hearing. Like I do feel like, I'm hearing typing, typing. It's like if you do want to build something with this person... Um, stop holding yourself back, okay? Um, I do want to tune into a couple more feelings with this person. So let me just kind of tune in to a couple more feelings. Kind of get some more heart space energy. I never needed you like I do right now. It kind of feels like you're the thing that this person never knew they needed. It's like right now their life is fine and it's going fine. And your life is probably going fine as well. But it's like... I'm hearing almost like you'd be so much better together. So I do think you guys should give this a try. I do think you should get to know this person. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing anything coming of this, but some of you might find that you actually really like this person, okay? Um, I'm hearing put the past behind you. So there is also a lot of past energy holding you and this person back, okay? Um, I feel like there could be a lot of trust issues. I'm with you and this person, but you do have express your love. So reach out to this person. Start communicating with this person. Some of you are struggling with not feeling worthy of love. Um, some of you might have a different religion than this person. They're just, there does seem to be a few things kind of holding you back, okay? I'm getting a lot of that energy of like your stomach is kind of twisting in knots, kind of scared to go back to this person. This could be an X for some of you, okay? This could be an X. But um, let's see. I feel like, okay, so codependency is coming up, but I don't feel like this has anything to do with your person. What I'm picking up on is you kind of got to get out of your head a little bit, okay? Reach out to this person, see what happens. If nothing comes of it, oh well. Build up the courage, build up the confidence, build up the strength, and just see where it goes. Like, what do you have to lose kind of energy? Um, I think there's a lot of fear around letting your guard down, or there's a lot of fear that this person is not going to give you the same energy, okay? But do it anyways is what I'm getting, okay? Do it anyways, because I feel like almost there's a lot of fear coming up with you. There's a lot of, um, I'm hearing a lot of emotional turmoil. I think maybe some of you are scared to be hurt again, but there is this energy around this connection of needing to take a leap of faith, okay? Both of you kind of need to take a leap of faith with one another. So any final messages, Spirit, for Pile 4? I'm hearing knocking at my door. So some of you, this is someone coming back from your past, okay? Um, because I am seeing a knock at your door. There could be an apology coming from someone, okay? I'm hearing endings trigger new beginnings. So there is a fresh start in love. And I think whatever person you came here for, it feels like a little bit of a crush maybe that you have. And um, I think go for it. It feels fun. It feels flirty. I think there is a little fear that this person is not going to acknowledge you or that this person is not going to communicate with you the way that you're communicating with them. But I think you should do it anyways, okay? Um, it does feel like you guys do have a lot of options for some of you. Um, there is some indecision around love. I think you should just give it a try, okay? Um, I don't know what this, what your circumstances are, okay? Um, but it feels like very specifically, it's kind of feels like just reach out to this person, see what happens. Okay, pile four. So let me know if that resonated with you. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get up, what am I saying? Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Make sure to um, check out my Instagram. It's going to be linked down below. Check out my Amazon wish list. That's going to be linked down below. And check out my spiritual shop. And I will see all of you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye, guys.